What's good, it's Audio Heen. I'm a music producer from Gaithersburg. Right now we at the EQ Labs in Gaithersburg. Shout out to my man Flash. But I see a cook up. See how we cook up. We here cooking up, man. You about to see my creative process, how I put together beats, how I chop samples, how I basically do what I do. I might start with a drum or I might start with a snare. Either one, I'll just go with the flow. Sometimes I'm not gonna come up with some things. Some days I'm gonna come up with, you know, the idea quick, but the whole point is to continue going at it and continue practicing. So, you know, it was a good cook up today, you know? A couple samples got chopped. I might keep a couple ideas, but like I said, the days where I might find an idea quick or an idea will come to me quick as ever. And then other days, it might just be the drum pattern still there for a couple days or whatever it may be. But, you know, I don't save a beat or continue until I feel it. Uh, I'll describe my style as like a, a clash between soul and trap. So like soul trap, but I don't want to call it that, but it's like a clash between two. Like trap elements over like soul elements. And I think my style is different because for one, um, I try to keep an open mind and stay outside the box. But even with that, I think my approach to sampling is different because, you know, I'll throw like drums, hard drums over what would usually be a boom bap type of beat. But uh, I just think my approach is different in terms of like my transitions, how I bring in the beat. I kind of treat it like a roller coaster. Like before the highest peak, it might sound this way and then it'll be a transition. And then by the end of the beat, it's something else. So I try to keep it different. Try not to keep it the same. Well, I'm trying to work with, for, for one, anyone that's trying to work. <laughs> and two, uh, I think artists that are gonna not be afraid to try different things or try to expand their sound and not want to stay in the same box or lane. Cause I think I got different vibes and different sounds. So just anyone that's willing to try different sounds, I'm, I'm willing to work. So. When it comes to samples, uh, I used to just stick to old school samples, like samples from the 70s, songs from the 80s, but now I kind of expand to like movie soundtracks, uh, could be a video game soundtrack. I'm kind of like expanding my mind in terms of what I can sample now. I can sample pretty much anything now, but I love sampling, like I still love sampling old school samples. Um, I like the like type of the EDM type of alternative artists and like the indie artists you get a lot of dope samples out of them so i like just finding whatever pieces i can find from anything now well thank you for watching the first cook up there's gonna be more of these try to do one every week actually so stay tuned for the next one they're gonna be on my site you could go to audioheem.com that's again three e's on the heme h-e-e-m audioheme.com for all content whether you want beats or just want to vibe out the beats, my SoundCloud information is there. And again, on all social media networks is Audio Heme.